Frankenstein, baby. Oh my God. I've got the trailer hooked up. We're about to go pick up a truck called Shorty. It belongs to my friend, Bert, who's had the truck for a long, long time. Somebody done a bunch of custom work to it before he got it. I honestly forget what the truck looks like, but I know it's named Shorty for a reason. So let's go pick it up. What the hell is this? This is a 69 C30, what somebody thought was gonna be a rat rod. And what did they do to it? Why is it called Shorty? Well, that's because they chopped the top. Is that the original chassis? That's the original chassis. Oh, it's chopped. Yep. Oh. Yes, that's why they call it Shorty. Oh, this is weird. Honestly, this would make you one fishing rat rod. I just don't have time. Oh yeah, do an unveiling. Frankenstein, baby. Oh my God. So that, that looks original. They took it out of here and they sectioned the, the top very poorly. Yeah, they did a little bit of everything. Damn, look at the floor. Yes. That's it's a nice stain. It's a nice truck from here down yeah Dash is oh the doors are cut too oh, oh. clutch flywheel Get him back over. this way oh, doors closed good this one goes over on the other side but that's what they had covering it all up oh my goodness <laughs> yeah so uh but yeah, you can take the top the top completely off of it and have a convertible. Put your small windshield on it. And the dash is nice. Yes. It's a nice vehicle. Damn, they cut up a good truck. They cut up a great truck. That's a shame. So we just need to find one that's just completely rotted out on the bottom and cut the top off. Exactly. Hmm. And we can take cut it here. Got the thing off, put the new one back on, you'll be good to go. That's hilarious. So it sucks that they just practiced chopping a truck with a nice cab. I mean, even all this is nice and straight. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, you got the corners you got to take and do, but I'm serious. They, they would, uh, it would make a nice one, dude. You got 16 inch wheels and you got all new of them. Oh yeah, I got a whole set. That's what I'm saying. You could make something real nice or real hmm. ready and flip it. That's what you want to do. That look, looks look at the rear end. Funky. Oh, what is that? That is a very large. Ten bolt. That's a ten bolt. I think that's what it was. Is a ten bolt. Hmm. And I mean, it's huge. <laughs> to be a one ton. The uh, bed, the tailgate has been narrowed. Really? Yes. Oh yeah. Look. Oh, it's all welded. To, it's all. Oh. Yeah. So okay. if you go to take it off, you have to pull the bolts out of it. It won't open all the way up. Hmm. I like the bed floor. At least. But like I said. Yeah. Be right up your alley, dude. It's a Texas truck. <laughs> oh, oh, I got you. You like Texas stuff. You're right. So it's like a storage. What the hell is this? Yeah, there's storage. Take off the valve cover bolt here. Oh, it doesn't really want to. Or does it? Mm. Is it actually going through? Yeah, it's going through. Oh, look at there. It's a work truck. There's your other valve cover bolt. Perfect. <laughs> but anything see, good in here? You got your no, shouldn't be. You've got your own little magnet socket thing holder. <laughs> uh -huh. 
All right, you have the key, good. I wasn't gonna take it if you didn't have the key. Okay, <laughs> I made sure we had that. Hmm. I, like the, I like the gear shifter. Yep, grenade with a pin. But uh, like I said, I mean, the floors are solid. I've kept it covered. You got a little bit in that corner over there. Yeah. Comes out, but I mean, other than that, it's, it's pretty solid. Typical rocker and cab corner deals. Yep. But other than that, you want to keep your seats? No, you can have them. Are you sure? Yes, sir. I got I got a few of them. Are you sure you don't want them? No, I'm positive. I ain't got a place for them, dude. Mm -hmm. But you do have to put something up here. You just had to take and keep that up for like that. Yeah. Yeah. This might be one of those, like, yeah. just make a, a, a wacky build and just make a convertible or something. Just put the windshield post back in well, it. And, and that's that's what I was thinking. You take these right here and stand it back up, cut the top off here. I don't care if you take and cut it right here at the, at the lights. Leave the lights up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to, but, have, to have a good way of, of finishing this off to make it look not right. so cut. But. Or, or you could take and... Straighten this part up and make it just a glass piece across here and put a. Oh, yeah. Just a. Yeah. So the edge of the glass, like a roadster. Just like a roadster. And that would be perfect. That's a great idea. This car is from, this is one of the ones I got from Texas. Bert got his hands on it. We traded the top kick for this. And stuffed it with a brand new 383 all forged with a Teflon stripped 671 in it. Good Lord. That looks so awesome. You haven't even fired it up yet. Have not fired it up yet. Oh my God. But we're going to. I'm hoping to take and do it Memorial Day. Yeah. Like I said, I think I've got everything wired that needs to be wired with the exception of the instrument panel. I gotta get that done. And then it's a matter of turning the switch, crossing the fingers, and hope it goes. Don't see why it shouldn't. That's the core support and everything out of my car. And that was in mine before I changed it over. That's my old master cylinder. Yeah, a lot of your stuff's in here. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. The hood that was on my car, I like all these years, mm -hmm. it was the hood for this car. <laughs> this is true. So. These seats came from out there. They're, they're in a shed. These are Impala seats that we found. Cool. This thing's going to be rowdy. Good Lord. With an all forged 383, 671, like it's gonna be good. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I need that one piece. I know a guy. I know a guy. I just gotta get in touch with that guy. I just gotta, <laughs> I just gotta find it. <laughs> yeah. One day, go I'll go through all my all my parts. Hey, dude. Hey, you like your truck? Yeah. You like your truck? That's it's got your name on the side of it. Shorty. You're so mean to me. I'm not mean to you. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this kid. It's chopped. The top is chopped. Look how low the top is. It is? Yeah. Was this a semi truck or something? <laughs> no, it was just a heavy duty truck from the 60s that somebody chopped up. That never Are you going to put a motor in it? Yeah, you can. Or is it just going to sit in our yard forever? Why don't you get back in the truck? We have so many things. Yeah, and stupid. so? Yeah, but. Ain't like, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You gotta have something to work on. If, if, you've got, if you've got stuff, it's options. Look at it like that. You got so much stuff, you got options. That's what you need to look at. I see you changing tires. You the man. You got this. 
All right, let's go down the road. Want to? You going swimming? I'm tired. You're always tired. Good lord, <laughs> such a hard life. <laughs> We have Shorty unloaded, but now what? It really sucks that somebody did this to a fairly decent cab because the floors are perfect. It's an air cab. The firewall is in good shape. It just needs your standard rocker and cab corner replacement, which is no big deal. But I don't know what to do with it. Uh, shoot out some ideas in the comments and I don't know, we can figure it out. Do we just take the top completely off? Do we replace the top? I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. We'll figure it out.